and I happen to be one of those people who believe God created science. God created the scientists. God has gifted us with the medicine. God has gifted us with the, le the learning to get. So I just look at the vaccine. Getting to the point of finding the vaccine for me was like, this is a gift from God. God is so big and so huge and so loving that God has invested in the hearts and minds of doctors, nurses, scientists, biologists, and those gifts that they bring to us through science, that is a direct gift of God and that is healing. Oftentimes, God heals us miraculously, but God does a lot more healing through medicine. We have been praying that God would give us a means to keep us covered and protected, and I believe the vaccine is that means. I do believe that God is a miracle worker. I believe all of those things, but I do believe that there is a, a percentage that we have to contribute in everything. You know, and so um, taking the vaccine is just our part. The scripture tells us that faith without works is dead. You have to put some action behind it. Taking the vaccine is an action that you need to take to put behind the faith that you have. I think my faith and confidence in the Lord and his abilities to work through uh, divinely appointed scientists and medical pro uh, professionals uh, kind of catapulted me and gave me the confidence to go ahead and go through with it. Uh, having hesitations about something new that's out, some new medicine, new vaccine, uh, I think that's natural and normal, I think, but uh, to be a good steward, uh, do the work, you know, get the, get the good information. And I don't think the good information necessarily is social media or what, <laughs> what your friends or everybody want, uh, uh, in the world wants to post about. We have allowed social media and stuff like this to give us quick answers versus us putting in the work and going and finding real answers. So that's what I did, went and did some research, read some stuff, and said, okay, this is making more sense. This is making more sense. What caused me to take the vaccine was number one, I did my research. I talked to peers, uh, other pastors. I talked to uh, ph various physicians and um, uh, leaders in the medical field after doing so. I felt comfortable, and so through prayer, um, I was not only able to take it myself, um, but I was able to be an encourager to others as I have experienced after having taken it that uh, I did not have any uh, side effects or anything, and so I, I try to encourage others to do the same. I wanted to be an influence to our congregation. I took it right on the stage. The Sunday we had the vaccination, I was the first one to do it, so I felt like if I take it first, then maybe that would ease some apprehension because they would say if my pastor would do it, he wouldn't lead us anywhere that he wouldn't go himself. They saw that example and they followed it, many of them. I have never been hesitant about taking the vaccine. Uh, I've always felt that the vaccine was safe. Uh, there were literally hundreds of thousands of people who had taken the vaccine uh, by the time I took the vaccine that had no ill effects. So we're really working on the base of trust and that we do no harm to anyone. And if we were allow our children, our family, our grandparents, or uh, my father's 87 years old and he had the shot, that surely they should trust us enough. But trust God that this vaccine is safe and it is the best thing that we can do right now to protect ourselves. I prayed and asked God to give us something and give us some type of uh, uh, way. And so I was um, first in line. Uh, to be vaccinated and receive the vaccine. And for those people who say, well, uh, I'm, I'm gonna die when it's my time to die. And I say to them, but God gives you uh, the ability to extend your time. God gives you the ability to, to make the decisions that you need to make. Uh, it, it, when we talk about our time is our time, you go stand in the middle of, of an interstate, that's gonna be your time. But that was your decision, not God's decision. If he's going to take care of us, he's going to do it because we've had the proper actions. Uh, so when I get in my car and pray God take care of me, I also put on my seatbelt because I want God to take care of me. So if all I got to do is take a shot in the arm and it's a chance that I don't have to go through that, I don't have to send my daughter through the, those kind of, I'm, I'm my daughter's only living parent. And if, if, if I can do whatever it is to keep make that still be a fact that I'm a living parent, I'm willing to do it. And this is affecting all people, which unfortunately 
because of so many of the underlying issues that we are dying from disproportionately. So if, if any group needs the vaccine, in my estimation, is the African-American community. Well, but I think it's a matter of stewardship. Stewardship, not just of your body, but it's stewardship of your community, of your brother. Uh, when we talk about loving your neighbor, this is one of the ways I love my neighbor, by being responsible. And I think it's being very responsible by taking the vaccine that will protect others um, as well as myself. This vaccine can save a lot of lives. This can open up the door for us to do many things. I want to get back to hugging. I want to, you know, I'm tired of lifting up my elbow and pounding people. I, I, I want to be able to show people that I care, I miss them. Life is so different without that sense of love. And you never know what a hug does to someone that doesn't have anyone to give them a hug. And I don't want me not having a vaccine to keep me from being that hug to someone that needs a hug.